Welcome to Godly Dragon Reviews and Apologetics. First, I wanted to apologize for the lack of videos during the month of June. I was unable to find a new affordable apartment in time, so I lost my independence and had to move back to my parents' house. So things have been pretty crazy lately, and I haven't felt the motivation to make videos. But now I feel up for it again, and it's time that I made a review of a new Pixar movie that came out not too long ago. The movie I will be reviewing today is Finding Dory. This movie takes place a year after the events of the movie Finding Nemo. In this sequel, Dory remembers that she has a family and remembers that her parents lived at the Jewel of Morro Bay. She travels to the surface where she gets captured by volunteers of the Marine Life Institute and then tagged in the quarantine section where she meets a seven-legged octopus named Hank, who agrees to help Dory find her parents in exchange for her quarantine tag, so that Hank can continue to live in an enclosed area instead of living in the ocean. All while, Marlon and Nemo set out to the Institute to try to rescue Dory in the meantime. This is a movie that is centered around family messages. The main message is about how important our family is to us even when we don't see them in a long time. Many other sub messages are included in this film as well, such as how important it is to respect others and their gifts and to embrace the uncertainty of life. This movie has good lessons and morals that Christian families with kids can apply to their lives. Adults and children alike can learn something from this, especially those who grew up with Finding Nemo when they were kids. Overall, I give it a high score of 5 out of 5 stars, it is a clean and healthy movie for Christian families with a great story, great animation, and great morals to go along with it. This is a recommendation from Godly Dragon Reviews. It's a great movie for those who grew up with Finding Nemo and just a great movie in general. God bless everyone.